What's going on guys, welcome to Around the World and in today's episode I want to specifically talk about Andrew Henderson and the chance that he could be competing in MMA very soon so instead of freestyle he could be fighting someone so the reason why I bring this up is because he posted this on his Instagram there is an event in Newcastle on the 14th of December and he said who would like to see me fight in MMA this looks insane at Fame MMA UK. So if you take a look at the page, it's not a real MMA organization, it's a celebrity one. So the main fight which has been announced is Stevie Bear versus Scotty T. These are two reality TV stars in the UK. So it should be quite a big event. So as of yet, Andrew hasn't officially came out and said that he will be fighting on this event. But I do think there is a good chance because having spoken to Andrew, I know that he's been training MMA for a few years now. He's very much into jiu-jitsu and just overall, he's a very big fan of the sport. If you look through some of his Instagram posts, you can see he's been to a lot of big events. He's met a lot of famous people within the MMA and boxing world. He's also expressed his desire to compete in all the YouTube boxing stuff that's going on. So. He's very much involved with it and he doesn't hide the fact that he's a fan of this stuff. Along with that, we know that Andrew is a very competitive and driven person. We've seen him compete in freestyle, but I don't think we'll be seeing him compete in freestyle anymore. He did compete in a competition last year in the UK. It wasn't a UK champs, but it was more of a smaller exhibition co competition. He just seemed to randomly turn up and compete in that, in that one. I don't think anyone was expecting that. And of course he won it. He posted on Instagram that he came out of retirement and he won his 20th final. So 20 out of 20 finals is pretty insane. And you just have to ask the question, like what else is there for him to achieve in freestyle competition wise? He's won five world championships. He's pretty much done it all. He's one of the greatest freestylers ever. So maybe MMA could be a new challenge for him. He sees it as something different to move into whilst being a freestyler as well, because freestyle is still his job. He's got a million followers now. He's a massive massive influence on the scene and outside of freestyle as well so i think that there is a good possibility that this will happen and i'm excited to see it so let me know what your thoughts are let me know what you think about it there are still a lot of red bull street style qualifiers taking place just over a month to go until the final in miami and the latest one was the south korean championships which saw tamar taking on minjay in the final hopefully I haven't butchered those two names but in this battle, Tamar actually won it, but having watched the battle, in my opinion, I think that Minjai was slightly better. It was a close battle, don't get me wrong, but I think that Minjai had a better style, he had more energy, and he pulled out bigger tricks. So I would have chose him, but check out the battle for yourself. Did the judges make the correct decision? And it's interesting to note that judging from this picture, it seemed that Mr. Wu was one of the judges, so that's pretty cool to see. He was actually one of the main judges of the original Red Bull Street style way back in 2008 and of course he's been involved in freestyle for decades before that as well so he's still involved and that's great to see shout out to mr Wu. in the last episode i featured the polish championships which shimo did compete in and recently he opened up on his instagram about the tough year he's had he had surgery for a hernia and also his dad passed away so his training has been really inconsistent, but he's getting back to it now. So much respect uh, to Shimo for opening up about that and being able to compete as well. The official video for Super Bowl 2019 is finally out, produced and edited by Reds K. As per usual, he smashed it. One of the best video makers in the game. So make sure you go and check that out. It's a fantastic recap. So on to some freestyle clips now, and let's start with the Super Bowl champion, Auguska. She posted a four alternative Mitch, no touch combo, amazing style. As we know, Auguska's got incredible lowers. She's just an amazing freestyle all around, but what really made her popular were her lowers. So it's great to see her pushing her level. And when you really think about how far female freestylers come, there seems to be new females popping up almost every day. So I think in the next year or two, we're going to see even more freestylers on the female side of things rise up and it's going to get really competitive. So awesome to see her push her level like this and looking forward to the final for the females in Miami as well. Next, we have another Polish freestyler, Kalaputa, one of the most interesting freestylers and probably thoughtful freestylers in the game right now. He posted up these really cool I would say they're flick ups. Um, really interesting the way he just he spins around, very different and just 
Anything he posts is always worth watching, let's just say that. Another clip worth checking out is this quick video from Ibuki where he does this trick where he pushes the ball through his shirt. This is really cool and if he did this in a battle I think it would go insane, especially if he did it on a beat drop, so maybe we'll see that in a future competition. Final clip I wanted to feature in this episode is from the footbag legend Vazek. Fazek is a freestyler as well, but when he gets his foot back, he's just absolutely crazy and this trick is just insane. I don't even know how to describe it. Just check it out yourself. So that's it for this episode of Around the World. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and also leave a comment and let me know what you thought of everything that was featured and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you all very soon. Peace.